The Galaxy S6 Note 5 generation was a bit short on battery capacity, but this year Samsung did better. The Galaxy S7 has as big a battery as the Note 5, 3000 mAh, and the new Samsung Galaxy Note 7 got an even bigger battery, 3500 mAh. So, what's battery life like? Better than the Note 5, sometimes much better. Battery capacity is up around 16% and improvements in battery life array on that scale too. There are two versions of the Galaxy Note 7 and we tested both, the one with Exynos 8800 and 90 has 10% to 20% better battery life compared to the one with Snapdragon 820. The talk time and web browsing time show the biggest deviations, by 2 hours and almost 2 hours respectively. The two versions of the Galaxy S7 Edge powered by the same chipsets also show different results, but the Note 7 variants are a more consistent. For example, the Exynos-based S7 Edge browsed the web 30% longer than its Snapdragon Twin, while the Notes show only 20% difference. Similarly, the gap in video playback times is 20% vs. 10%, for calls it is 15% vs. 9%. How does the new Galaxy Note 7 stack up against the old Note 5? Looking at the Exynos Note 7 version with always on screen disabled, you get a minus 6% improvement, that's less than the increase in battery capacity. The new Note 7 beats its predecessor by a 20% margin in video playback but loses by nearly as much in talk time. They are a equal in web browsing endurance. In conclusion, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 doesn't greatly improve the battery life of its predecessor, especially if you want the always on screen, which drops endurance to around 60H. If you want the best Best battery life a Galaxy flagship can offer, the Galaxy S7 Edge is currently the best pick. Cause baby now we got bad blood, you know it used to be mad love, so take uh, a look what you've done, uh, cause baby now we got